So this is one of the little boxes that my neighbor made for me and he made it, it was very tall and I <laughs> cut it in half. So I have two boxes and the other one have um, parsley growing in it. So yeah, that's what I did. And this that I'm dropping right now is chickpeas. That's what that is, chickpeas. Now, you know, some may say, you know, why grow chickpeas? Chickpeas are not expensive and, you know, <clears throat> they are readily available. And they are. So I got these chickpeas from Mr. George, which I know they were very organically grown. Um, but the most important thing is that is this. So I grew chickpeas before and the video is still up if you want to check it out. Uh, and when I grew the chickpeas before, and I, of course, I tried the chickpea in my garden. I tried it raw before I brought any one of them in the house. And the flower were beautiful. Then there were the peas. And when I took the pea off the plant and I tried it, listen, it is a very different experience when you're tasting the chickpea fresh from the plant it's it's totally different now when we buy chickpeas they are hard and crispy like you can even hear them. they they're hard but when you grow chickpeas they are uh, a firm soft you know like they are firm but soft uh totally different from this which you which you have here it's nice it's soft it's it's wonderful it's a different it's a whole different ball game so this is why not only did i drop um, um chickpeas last season but this is why i'm doing it again and i'm going to have another container full of chickpeas also and as you can see i'm growing them fairly close together see well how to grow chickpeas in this soil the soil have nothing but uh, uh, some nitrogen in it some uh, blood meal in it i think i did put that in it and it's good to put that in it but the most important thing i'm gonna give these plants y'all know i'm gonna give them some 511 and super juice and that's what they're gonna receive every 10 days in they are going to grow beautifully, period. <laughs> and that's what's going to do it. And once you get them in the soil, and as you can see, they are planted fairly close. I mean, they are plants that love to be close to each other. So just, and then just cover them up, baby. Cover them up. That's all. And now we're going to water them in. <clears throat> and now... They're ready to get their grow on. That is it. No special nothing. Most beans, most plants don't like to be just sitting in sobby water. No, I don't think anybody like that. So if you think about your plants like you think about yourself, be good. There you go. And put my little butterfly back in here from Dollar Tree. There she go. <clears throat> put her back and and um, now I'm just, oops, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to watch it grow, all right? So if you never tried growing chickpeas, go ahead, give it a try. Um, just buy your bag of chickpeas. I mean, if you don't, you know, if you don't want to get the organic kind, fine. You know, get the kind in the store that you see and grow them. And you will have a totally different experience when it comes to chickpeas. Uh, also, you can save your seeds, right? Save your seeds. So as many times as you regrow your own seeds, yeah, they will not be so chemically fed. Yeah, uh, a couple of years down the road, right? They will be organic uh, chickpeas. Keep growing, family. All right.
So I share with you all some of the little um, um, bulbs that comes on your um, garlic when you harvest your garlic. Uh, like this right here. That was mine. And that is these little bulbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them in the bed. I'm going to just put, them, put some of them in the bed with my peas and cucumbers. Let's see how they grow. I don't know, but we're going to check it out. So I'm just going to put this on the outside of them or something like that. So y'all, I've been looking at <laughs> TikTok today, right? <clears throat> now, there's a, there's a song uh, from the movie uh, Harriet Tugman, right? I do look. I do love uh, love the song, but it's difficult for me to watch the movie. I cry too much, <laughs> so I can't enjoy it really. Right. So, um, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all, I gotta get my little fencing up. I just got to, you know, it's too close, too close. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, the movie is, uh, it's just hard on me uh, to watch this movie, right? <clears throat> so, but there's a song from the movie that I love. So I'm gonna sing a little bit, okay? Y'all wanna hear it? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it says, um, I've been walking when my face turned to the sun. Weight on my shoulder, a bullet in my gun. Now I got eyes in the back of my head mm. Just in case I have to run do, 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 do. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people Y'all know that song? They got people out here <laughs> Oh man, let me stop Wait a minute <laughs> Right. And there are the garlics. Woohoo, baby. Alright. Put them right there. <laughs> Everybody's seeing the girl. Ben got that looking so good over there, yo. Look at that. So I, I'm deciding I'm going to put some of my uh, trees in the ground. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I felt sorry for that big tree when we chopped the root, so I'm going to put it in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> All right, family. So Ben and I, we're still out here working. We're working. But I want to share this with you all. So now to... Uh, Many of you all that are sellers in the flip side market, right? So I remember when uh, Miss Kraft was on my channel and she was talking about the flip side. She, uh, she also said that if you wanted to donate seeds to flip side, you can. So listen, guys, this is, uh, this is Jamaican sorrow. This is what this is. I have, this is just one of my boxes that I have. And these are just saved Jamaican sorrows from my own growing of Jamaican sorrow, right? You see that? It did just rolling out, right? So, and also here, this is ground cherries. I like to let them just dry out naturally. And this is what you get is the seeds kind of remain in the bag, which I think is the coolest. I don't have any in here yet, but they will. And I just let them dry in here. And I, seriously, I have them under the sofa. 
<laughs> in my living room. And, and they don't bother nobody. And this is what they come to look like. And what you will see inside, only thing will be left is their seeds. Yeah, that's, that's all will be left in the little sack. So what I would like to do, I would like to donate many of these seeds, well, all of these seeds really, to Flipside Market. Um, I don't know uh, the process, uh, but I would like to donate them. So if someone will get back with me, email me at the New Orleans Gardener at gmail.com and let me get these seeds to you. I will send these seeds first because these are not ready. But I will send you all of these Jamaican sorrow seeds that I have uh, because I've given away so many of the Jamaican sorrows. I, I sold a lot of them. I gave a lot of them away. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so now I do, I do want to uh, gift them to Flipside. So if someone from Flipside hit me up at the New Orleans Gardener at gmail.com and I will get these seeds to you. Yeah, I'll get them to you. Okay, baby. Well, I'm looking for the rain. I'm looking for the rain, y'all. <laughs> yes. But anyway, Benny and I, we're out here and we're just cleaning the garden. Uh, I had some problems with um, my uh, faucet outside here in the garden, the garden faucet. But Ben fixed it. Thank you, buddy. Ben got that thing together. So, uh, the faucet is fixed. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to check this out here. Look at this. Let me take this off. Get that Miss Rue the big up. Look at Miss Rue. Oh, she's splitting too. I'm gonna have to get her out of there. Let's get her out then. Shoot. Let's get her with me. She split a couple of times, but that's okay. Because mama gonna work it out. That's her. I also have a um, beach growing in here. She's not ready. And I think I'm gonna get this white one. Let's get the white one. That's a cool looking leaf. are delicious. Look at that. Big girl. Big girl. Big girl kohlrabi. It's white Vienna kohlrabi. Hey, hey. Put that here. Put that one. You too. You're going in a pot too. So, y'all see that? Hmm, how early is that? Let me get him. And this is a broccoli. I'll wait a little bit for her. Yep. This is another cool rabbit over here in one of my Katrina beds. Yeah, maybe a couple of days. Then I'll take her out. <laughs> She's pretty big though. Look at she's hanging over the bricks everywhere. And that's my olive tree. That's the olive tree. So Ben is cleaning this part of the garden. I have a lot of sugar cane over there, kind of lilies, and that green plant you see right there. Some kind of house plant. <laughs> but she's been outside forever. And she's the only green over there. But anyway, she's doing good. Um, he's going to leave my rose bush. It's going to stay. And 
yeah i'm going to plant some of my fruit trees in the ground there's some sugar cane he have and he's gonna put that sugar cane over there on my square that i have so i can just see what i'm gonna do with it or um, i'm gonna plant some in different parts of my garden i want to thank you all for hanging out with me today and i hope you all have a beautiful beautiful friday